Good evening, dear friends. As we start this first paper on this module, Formation, I'm presenting on the topic, Stages and Dynamics of Jesus Youth Formation. I thought uh, to start with a quotation, a reference from United States Catholic Bishops Conference, uh, trying to define what is youth ministry. We are all happy to be a part of this youth ministry named Jesus Youth and it's the gift of the Holy Spirit to each one of us as God has called each one of us specially for this privilege of forming youngsters of this contemporary generation. Are you all happy with that? Or is it a burden? I look at it as a challenge more than that it is a possibility, enormous possibilities, lot of opportunities. So let us together take this challenge uh, uh, forward. Uh, surrendering our lives for this mission of forming people. Youth ministry is a response of the Christian community to the needs of the young people and the sharing of the unique gifts of youth with the larger community. So it is a response of the Christian community to the needs of young people around and the sharing of unique gifts of this youth with the larger community for the world and all the great things happening these years, especially young people has a major role in it. And uh, we are happy to be work with such a generation which move uh, every day in our life or move the world in a bigger way. And when we look very closely into the movement, as a movement, there are two major focuses. One is the evangelization. Second is the formation of young people. And uh, when we look into the youth ministry as a whole, into, the, in, into this world, current scenario, youth ministry is one of the most challenging areas of service in the church today. Yet the last few decades witnessed many young people in Jesus Youth Movement who have been exemplary, exemplary models of Christian discipleship. And historically, our Catholic heritage boss of childhood saints and adolescent martyrs, today's youth still possess uh, that contagious enthusiasm and refreshing idealism and it is very visible in the Jesus Youth Movement. They're capable of, they're capable of serving Christ in a heroic manner they, uh, and uh, they cross whatever problems in front of them, they take it as a challenge and move forward. That's what, I mean, I am, we feel very much inspired seeing the lives of young people taking risk for the Kingdom of God. And the Jesus Youth Movement is actually an expression of uh, the fruitfulness of the gift of the Holy Spirit in the church. So today's church is facing a big challenge of how to reach out this 1.2 billion of young people out of the 6.8 billion of the total world. 1.2 billion of young people around the world. And how to meet the expectations of these young people. So Jesus Youth Movement has also the same challenge, taking the same challenge. How are you going to meet the expectation? And the mandate is that Jesus, uh, in the final chapter of Matthew's Gospel, we see Jesus mandated making go and make disciples of nations. What does this mean? What did this mean? Jesus meant the whole process of leading a person to conversion, establishing the person in their faith through catechesis and training him or her for a greater mission. That means what, what, what we mean by Christian faith formation. Christian faith formation is a lifelong journey with Christ, in Christ and to Christ along with the community of Christians, or we simply say it is a journey towards holiness and mission. And, and it is a continuous, lifelong process that gives purpose and meaning to our lives, even to the life of all these young people. It gives a lot of meaning and purpose in following Christ. Or in another, another term, we look at Christian formation. It is a continual, lifelong process of deepening in one's understanding of his or her faith. And it involves, it covers all the areas, not only with the, the term we use, the spiritual world, it covers all the areas, including worship, service, mission, ministry, evangelism, fellowship, education, and job and career also. And what is this formation process? It involves all facets of human life, and it is integral to all areas of personal and spiritual growth. One, the human the human formation. 
it is very very important that a lay person should mold his human personality in such a way that it becomes a bridge not an obstacle his life becomes a bridge for others to meet christ the redeemer of humanity or in other words the one person needs to cultivate a series of human qualities when you look into human formation the need to be educated to love the truth to be loyal to respect every person to have a sense of justice to be true to the word to be men of integrity so all this covers the human uh, formation part and it is just like following the example of jesus who knew what was in humanity jesus knew what was in humanity so we need to take uh, into the human formation of young people and uh, maybe the educational journey towards a mature responsible christians educational moral conscience all it comes under the human uh, part of the formation second one is spiritual formation the human individual is open to transcendence to the absolute the church document says he has a heart which is restless until it rest in the lord so this educational process of a spiritual life zen is a relationship and communion with god or it is a work of the holy spirit and engages a person in his totality so the spiritual formation introduces a person to a deep communion with the jesus christ the good shepherd and the essential form essential uh, element we see it's the following religiously the six pillars of the movement is one important part of following the spiritual formation and growing in a community or a fellowship group is another big thing or uh, we say the the support of mentors or seniors is another dimension of spiritual formation move to the next uh, formation area it is uh, intellectual formation when you look into intellectual formation it is a fundamental demand of the human intelligence of an individual and by which one participates in the light of god's mind and seek to acquire a wisdom which in turn opens to and is directed towards knowing and un- adhering to god the one person participates in the light of god's mind and seek to in- acquire a wisdom through this intellectual formation it's a fundamental need of fundamental human need and uh, more than that we are working with the u- contemporary youth and we need to know what is happening in today's world and what is happening in each person's lives or the the need of understanding today's contemporary youth the problems they are facing and finding out a way to help them to address such problems we need this type of formation intellectual formation to address that need or uh, choosing paths based on catholic teachings you know, on different issues on today's life and guiding youth according to church teachings we need this intellectual formation also the formation of the values and principles 